When debugging JavaScript objects, we usually use console.log like so. We would have an individual console.log for each one of the objects that we want to output. So we can see we have these three here, but this is quite confusing because we don't know which one of these logs relates to one of the console.log commands. To get around this, what we could do is have a single console.log and pass in an object which contains each one of the objects that we want to return. So if I go back to here, we can see that we have this console.log and we can pick which object we want to debug. If you found this video helpful, please follow for more.